Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you today how to get a Game Boy Advance emulator on your PC and get games for it. Alright, first, you want to go to this site, uh, emulatorzone.com, uh, just Google it and then we're going to go to the left hand side where it says emulators and click on Game Boy Advance. I'm sorry to get the page, but whatever. Uh, and then we're going to scroll down and go to the first one. Visual Boy Advance and click on it. Then here it will show you uh, what keys are what buttons. Then you scroll, continue scrolling down, and you download this one. Then <coughs> after you uh, download, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it. You'll get this a uh, zip file. Then you're just gonna wanna open that. Uh, and you're going to want to extract it. I already have it on my desktop, so I'm not going to do that. And this is what you should get out of it. This icon right here. And when you open up, this is what's going to come out. Or, yeah. It's nothing right now, but uh, you're going to need a game for it to run. To get a game, you're going to... Uh, we're going to go to this side here. It's... Uh, emuparadise.org and we're gonna get uh, games uh, on the left hand side go to ROMs and then there's this crap where you have to wait oh, damn fucking Miley Cyrus Okay, then we're gonna scroll down and uh, here are the ROM, like here uh, are the c the consoles that they support ROMs for, and then we'll scroll down to the handhelds and then Game Boy Advance, and they've got every single game for Game Boy Advance here. Oh my! And then we gotta wait 15 seconds again for this uh, advertisement. then here it will show uh, fuck. oh yeah it will just show this random crap and then on Game Boy Advance ROMs then oh, this shit again show, or it'll have these folders, uh, each folder contains a hundred games that you can choose to download, and, uh, you can't just go in and, s like, I wouldn't recommend going into just each folder and finding a game, what you, what you can do is, uh, y you go all the way to the bottom, you click on this, uh, list, it's alphabetical, and, uh, you can find what game you want in there, and I'll show you how this works. So, let's, uh, let's, what game should we download? Fire Emblem. Because I have that on my desktop already. Uh, Fire Emblem, Fire, okay, Fire Emblem. Each have a uh, like, uh, each have parentheses, and then it that just shows, uh, and then like a U, J, or E showing what uh, country it's from. I passed it. Oh no. Here, Fire Emblem, U.S. Okay, that would be 1235. Let's close this, and we go into we we find number 1235, so it should be under here. 1201 through 1300. 1201 through 1300. Click on that. Scroll down to what, what number is it? One two, uh, one two three five. Here you go. Fire emblem, and then we'll click this download uh, icon here. Then we'll get another tab or something will pop up. Uh, 
download links will appear. Download on uh, USA or Europe, d depending on where you're from. Fuck, oh, sorry, someone signed off. Depending on uh, what area, what country you're from, then click on that. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to click on it. Close this tab, then show what to do next. So we'll go back to our desktop and <coughs> we'll go to Fire Emblem and extract that, which I already did, which is right here. And, uh, we'll open it. Oh no, whoops. We will open Visual Boy Advance. And you can make this as big as you want. We'll go to File and Open. And then we, sh we will go to the Fire Emblem folder and then Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. And there you go. That's how you get Fire Emblem on your computer. Or any other Game Boy game.